In the last lecture, we completed the first three points of our on-page SEO checklist. And in this lecture, we're really moving on to point 14 here and looking at how to skyrocket your click-through rate with meta descriptions. Meta descriptions are this little preview of the page that appear here in these search results. It's actually called the search snippet and the meta description is the way that you set that up. You can see that this is an important part of the search results. You just got the title of the URL, which we already covered, and this is your last opportunity to really grab people's attention and get them to click through. It doesn't have a big SEO impact. Google don't look at this uh, as much, but it's a big uh, driver of people to getting them to click through. If you can grab their attention here, um, there's a great chance they're gonna click through. It's a great opportunity for you to increase your click through rate. Let us have a look, look at the best practices then. You really wanna highlight the benefit of your post or product compared to competitors who already appear in these search results. What I would suggest you do is have a look for all of the meta descriptions, maybe for the first three pages of Google for your particular keyword. You wanna read them all, get a sense of what's in there. Do they, do they look exciting? Do they get you to want to click through? You can take the best parts from every single one of them and just create your own meta description as well. Or if you see that there's something that isn't as obvious, that should be more obvious, uh, you can throw that in as well. What else do we have to think about? Once again, there is a length that we have to follow. It should be 160 characters or less, otherwise it'll appear truncated. And you can see here, a lot of the ones are set. This is an example where it's a little bit too long. It's getting uh, cut off there. So that could potentially be shortened up. So what I would recommend is really look at the other ones there. I'm gonna show you the meta description that I've written for this page. You can't see it on the page. You only see it in the search results. But if I open up the page itself, you can see I've got it here. So I'm trying to start with a, an action word, follow these 26 SEOS practices, plus the benefit to increase web traffic conversions and revenue. So not only just like what, what's contained in here, but also what is the benefit of all of that? And now I've also tried to highlight the, the different parts of this checklist. It covers technical, keyword research on page and more which when I looked through some other examples here, wasn't as obvious. It was 14 points, but 14 points covering what? When I clicked through, I found that actually it only covers one part of SEO. It doesn't cover really the other parts. So I'm trying to make it obvious that I'm covering a lot in one uh, checklist here. And I'm trying to bring that right to the front so people see that and uh, get the attention of it. That wraps up optimizing our meta descriptions. Now we're on to the next step, step 15, to really optimize your images in your blog post for the Google image search results. This can really help you get more traffic from the search engine.